everyone, my name is Reed Collum, and I'm so grateful to have you joining us for this Wonder of God Wednesday. Today, I wanted to take a moment to talk about our greatest commandment in life, which is simply to love. Mark chapter 12 says this, The Lord our God is the one and only Lord. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. The second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. Now, something I found so striking while reading these verses is five very simple words. The second is equally important. Now, the first commandment to love the Lord, I feel like is a bit of a given. One that most Christians can agree deserves to be the greatest commandment. However, God saying that loving your neighbor is equally as important. I don't think that's something that many of us have let sink in, though we so greatly need to. For the entirety of Christ's heart to be exemplified through us, we must believe that loving our neighbor is equally as important as loving our God. Something that I've found helpful in this pursuit to love others well is learning about the five love languages. In Gary Chapman's Human Relationship series, he defines five different love languages. Quality time, words of affirmation, gift giving, physical touch, and acts of service. As I've studied these love languages more and more, I've begun to ponder how I can use the knowledge I've collected about them in ministry and fellowship. So very quickly, I wanted to share a few of them with you, um, coupled with some scripture. Quality time. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Words of affirmation. Gracious words are a honeycomb sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Gift giving. One who gives freely grows all the more richer. Another withholds what he should give, only suffers want. Whoever brings blessing will be enriched and one who waters will also himself be watered. Physical touch. Greet one another with a holy kiss and all the churches of Christ will greet you. Acts of service. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. I hope hearing some of these verses and thinking about the five different love languages might inspire some of us to, to continue to think how we can love each other well, because that is the embodiment of who Christ is. Thank you for joining us for this Wonder of God Wednesday.